Hi, I'm State Senator Carla Bigham, and for the past three legislative sessions, I've had the honor and privilege of representing Senate District 54, which includes South Washington County, in the Minnesota Senate. Well, this is a bonding session. So this is the time where we really invest in our state's infrastructure and economic development opportunities across the state. I am hopeful by working across the aisle that we are able to include some of the projects in Senate District 54, everything from projects in Newport down to Hastings that will be included in the final bill and really invest in our communities and repair much needed infrastructure, but also help with economic development in the area. You may have heard that we have a positive balance in our state revenue accounts. That's a good thing. But most of that money is one-time money, and we have to be very judicious with how we would spend that. You cannot use it for ongoing programming. So I'm hopeful that we can use it at a variety of options, which would mean maybe putting some of the money in the budget reserves, um, eliminating the backlog of rape testing kits that we have in the state, and other one-time appropriate uses of the money. It is well known that in our area, we have contaminated water with PFAS. And this year, along with Representative Ann Claflin, we are championing a bunch of pieces of legislation that will hopefully address this issue. Everything from identifying PFAS as a hazardous substance to making sure that PFAS is not um, allowed to be used in any food wrappers, uh, such as microwave popcorn and also making sure that we are setting health guidelines um, for exposure limits of PFAS. I am hopeful that we will be able to get some of this legislation through this session. Another issue that is on voters' mind is protecting their data on the presidential primary ballot. Rest assured that we are going to continue to bring this issue up until it's resolved. It is no one's business who you voted for or what ballot you chose during that process. And we are going to continue to work to protect that data. And I will keep folks updated as that moves through the process. You can contact me anytime. And thank you for the opportunity to be your state senator.